Good morning, Thursday. Good morning, Thursday. I like that. Okay, so ito na yung market natin yesterday. Okay, malapit na mag-start ang ang ating markets all over the world. So, ito yung mga movement yesterday. So, Dow Jones, S&P 500, Nasdaq, puro US yan. No? Up a bit. Hindi naman, more, less than 1%. Putsi, United Kingdom is down 1%. Okay, sa Americas, New York Stock Exchange up 0.48. Ang malaking movement dito is Argentina 3.96% up. Mexico also 1.53%. Yung Canada, Brazil, wala, inches lang binalaw. Chile is also up 1.3%. 1.48% for Chile also. For Santiago, select. Uh, call cap, uh, sa Colombia, hindi rin. Barely moving. Caracas, wow. Ang Caracas talagang Hataw kung hataw, 2.72% up again yesterday. Okay? Tinitinan natin to kasi yung year-to-date nila, up 272% already. Okay, sa Europe, Middle East, well, mas marami ang red. Oo nga, mas marami ang red. Let's see. Ang biggest mover uh, yesterday would be Athens or Greece kasi talagang uh, down na down na yun. So many... Uh, days already in a row so Greece ang umangat 1.5% but after that Russia barely barely up 0.32% Sweden Turkey Saudi Arabia UAE yun mga kapi kapi raso lang ang angat nila wala pang 0.5% tapos lahat down na Switzerland well hindi naman masyadong malaki 0.05 lang Netherlands uh, Germany 0.29% ang binaba Portugal 0.5% um, Austria 0.5.6 Ireland 0.6 Italy 0.6% Denmark 0.75% Portugal 0.8 Poland 0.8 Israel uh, 0.88 Almost 1% na uh, yung, yung Euro stocks mismo Yung in index ng Europe Is down 1.02% South Africa down 1.04 Dubai General UAE down 1.11 France down 1.15 South Africa down 1.16 uh, CAC40, the index ng France, 1.32% ang binaba. Madrid, General, okay, si Professor, oh, abangan natin, 1.34%. Oh, tapos AEX ng Netherlands, 1.44%. Sa Asia naman, ang pinakamataas na gainer yesterday was Taiwan, 0.61%. Kosdaq, South Korea, 0.56%. China, 0.5%. Karachi is 0.28%. New Zealand, 0.2%. Yun na, tapos lahat down na. Uh, South Korea, Jakarta, 0.10. India, Malaysia, 0.38. Ako, mukhang matindi yung ating binagsak. Ha? Nikkei, 0.58% na binaba. Ayun, PSEI. Mukhang tayo na naman ang worst performing sa Asia uh, year to date. Um, 0.85, PSEI, 1.17% down. Australia, 1.28%. ASX 300 STI Singapore down 1.33% Thailand down 1.45% and 1.63% for Thai set 50 Hong Kong Hang Seng is the worst performer yesterday down 2.25% Now if we will go to the year to date change Ito kasi yung nagmamatter Bakit? Kasi ito yung Siyempre ito yung accumulated na ng lahat no? uh, From the start of the year Which is 7 months already um, Almost mag 8 months na ba? Nasdaq sa US 19.32%. Alam mo naman ang Nasdaq, di ba? Is a technical, mga technical stocks ang nandiyan dyan, no? Uh, susunod, S&P 500, broader all shares halos natin to ng no? 1.4%. Yung Dow Jones Industrial, uh, 30 stocks lang to, down 5.37%. FTSE, ayan, ang England, down 17%. Ito, nabanggit na natin sa America, South and North. Ang pinakamataas na galaw dyan is Caracas, Venezuela, 272% up since the beginning of the year Argentina 16.71 yun lang ang mataas sa kanila lahat bagsak na Canada negative 4% Brazil negative almost almost 10% down uh, Mexico down 14% Chile down 14 almost 15% Colombia down 16% pero may mga index sa Colombia na talagang 29% no? 29.7 in call cap uh, down 29.71 they are the worst performing index. At least yung mga tinatrack ni Bloomberg, ha? siya yung pinaka-worst performing. Sa EMEA, Europe, uh, Middle East and Asia. Middle Eastern Asia. Uh, Denmark yung pinakamata, 17.238% up. 
Istanbul 3.19% o samantalang ang daming kaysa sa, is, sa Turkey, di ba? South Africa up 1.17, Sweden up 0.45%. Tapos lahat down na. Uh, Germany down 1%, Portugal ganun din, Switzerland down almost 2%, South Africa down 2%, Germany down almost 3%. Istanbul 30 ah meron din pa lang Istanbul 30 ito yung index siguro nila no down 3.69% AEX Netherlands down 5.24 Moex Russia uh, downs almost 7% uh, Norway down 8.76% WIG total sa Poland 9.83% Nigeria down 10% almost Eurostox ito na yung consolidated ng European stocks ng index nila 10% Bloomberg Europe 10.56 Saudi Arabia 11.4% down FTSE Italy down 12.3% Irish overall down 12.78% Portugal down 13.51% Warsaw, Poland, down 14, almost 15%. Netherlands, AMS, um, mid-cap, down f- almost 15%. CAC, uh, France to, no? down uh, 15.7%, almost 16%. UAE, down 16%. Israel also, almost 17% down. Ito yung FTSE All Shares ng United Kingdom, down 18%. Russian Cash, uh, down almost 19%. Spain, down 23%. Uh, Dubai General, UAE, 25.3% down Austria, down 26.3% Athens, Greece, down 29.34% FTSE Athens is down 31.7% Yun, puro bagsak ang Europe For Asia, ayan, ito ang matindihan laban dito Kosdak ang talagang top performer Yung South Korea, up 18.6% from year to date Ang China, CSI, is up 15% Shanghai, Uh, all shares I think 9.3 Shanghai Composite up 9.28% Taiwan Weighted up 3.97 New Zealand up 2.22% Kospi South Korea up 1.41 Yun lang ang up sa Asia pero madami-dami compared sa ibang parte ng mundo right? Ang mga down sa kanila ah, sa atin pala ah, sa Asia tayo is sa uh, Malaysia KLCI down 0.11.56% Konti lang right? Ang Nikkei uh, down almost 4%, Karachi Stock Market, Stock Exchange is down 7%, Sensex India down 8.2%, HS China Ent, ito yung Hong Kong 8.28%, ang down Nifty down 8.51%, Topics Japan down 8.6%, Australia yung ASX 200 saka ASX 300 down 9%, Hang Seng Hong Kong ito yung usually tinit na track ng Bloomberg, Hang Seng is down 11.11%, Thai Set Uh, sa Kathai set 50 uh, between 14 to almost 17% down Jakarta composite down 18.88% STI Straits Times down 19.5% LQ45 Jakarta down 21.69% and then yung worst performing stock exchange in Asia is drumroll please tayo BSEI down 22.4% and then Philippine All Shares down 23.24%. Ito naman as of the moment. Pero kung papansin natin, yung mga worst performer sa Asia, Asia no, hindi ko familiar kasi sa mga cases sa sa ibang bansa, but of course, we can search that. Sa atin, ang mga worst performer, ito yung mga maraming cases ng COVID-19, no? Philippines, Indonesia, Singapore, 'di ba? Kung papansin ninyo, ito yung mga naglalabanan sa top position sa Southeast Asia. And I think it's correlated in a way kasi syempre, pag may maraming cases ng COVID, mas marami yung naka-community quarantine, mas marami yung tumitigil sa, sa negosyo, mas marami yung walang trabaho, di ba? Mas, mas extended ang fund management ng government, di ba? So, talagang may correlation yun. So, looking at PSEI yesterday, parang na-report na natin to yesterday pero siguro, tinan lang natin yung mga, uh, well, ang worst performer kahapon, mga laggers kahapon, si Mirara, di ba? Tinan natin na si Mirara, yun lang siguro, no? So, lo- let's look at si Mirara. Ang si Mirara ngayon is uh, 9.5%, ah, 9.5%, 9.5 peso. So, 9 peso and 50 centavos. Down sila almost 8%. Nag-open sila 10.38. Ang previous close nila 10.32. So, talagang ito ay... Uh, medyo under fire ito sa market ayan ang kanyang 6 month view okay 1 month view ayan pagbaba talaga no? nagsimula ng almost 13 so what is wrong with that 1 year return is almost 50, 60% already down pero tinan mo ang PE ratio niya 
So, kung ikaw yung value investor, pwede mong isipin natin kung muna baka nagkakamali ang market dito. So, di ba? Tingnan natin muna yung management. Kunsunhi, ang chairman CEO. Gotya Nun, president COO. Uh, alam ko, ayala ito eh. Ayala run. Okay, so let's look at financials. Ang financials ng Semerara. Quarterly, okay, down yung kanyang uh, revenue. Ang revenue niya from 2016 to 2018, Uh, hindi siya continuous na tumataas pero ang nag-hurt siya ng konti doon sa kanyang profit margin from a high of 32% ngayon 21% na. So, syempre affected ang net income. Hindi naman sobrang tumataas ang revenue, ang profit margin nagpa-fluctuate tas pumababa. So, affected syempre ang net income. So, ang net income niya ay hindi tumataas. Pumababa from 2016 to 2019. Tapos ngayon, tinamakan pa ng 2020. Kaya siguro ganun ang concern nila dito. Let's look at liabilities. Ito, importante sa atin. Ang liabilities niya, 25% lang naman. Although tumataas ngayon, debt to asset is 29.85%. I think, sa, hindi ako, again, hindi ako expert sa mining, no? pero uh, I think it has also something to do with kasi sabihin niyo siguro, teka, wala namang inuutang ng ano. Maaring meron uh, or uh, depende yan sa valuation ng mga assets. Maaring kung kababa yung valuation ng assets kasi um, uh, net assets na lang binibigay niyan. May mga depreciation niyan, di ba? Tapos may mga assets na dating ay considered to be existent pa. No? Tapos ngayon, maaaring write off na. Because this is in the mining business. Eh. We don't know so much about how they do their valuation there. But if we will follow this, you will see na yung kanyang debt to assets are, is increasing. From, ito yung annual nila, 2019, 25.9%, 27.97 May ni 31 na. Ah, tumaas pa. So, tumaas yung kanyang liabilities no, by 4 billion. So, medyo talagang maiintindihan mo kung bakit uh, bumababa si Semerara. So, sa ngayon, I think, wala, stay away muna tayo dyan. Although mababa yung kanyang price earnings, pero who is to say na makakabawi siya, no? medyo malayo-layo pa siguro. So, sabi nga ni Peter Lynch, uh, do not catch a falling knife. Di ba, pag naghagis ka ng punyal pataas, sinong sira ulo ang kasalo niyan uh, with his bare hands? So, huwag natin gawin yun. So, let the knife fall to the ground and then we pick it up. So, that's for today, July 23. Have a great day.